All right, how's it going? Welcome to the course overview for numbers and sets. This is the first of hopefully many different course overview videos that I make. And because of that, I just wanna quickly go through the structure that is gonna be in each of these course overview videos. It's gonna be split into two main parts. The first being the prerequisites. In other words, what level of background math do we need in order to understand the videos in the upcoming video series? And then the second part is going to be the course outline, which is gonna be a list of various topics that are gonna be covered in the video series. So that way you have an idea of what you're getting into before you actually click on any of the videos. And before we go through this list for numbers and sets, I wanna just quickly comment on the title numbers and sets by itself. The, the title numbers and sets comes from a course taught at Cambridge called numbers and sets. And I personally really like this title for the video series because the two main areas of math that we're gonna be talking about are set theory and number theory. That being said though, there are some analogous course titles that might sound more familiar to you. Some of the most common ones are introduction to abstract math, introduction to pure math, or discrete math. So if, if any of those sound more familiar, just know that this video series is intended to be similar to that course, okay? Um, with, with that being said, let's just get through uh, the, the topics within this list. Starting with prerequisites, uh, the prerequisites for this course really are not that bad. All you need in theory, at least to, to get started with this course, is just a good understanding of high school algebra. So if, if you understand algebra from middle school and high school, then in theory you should be good. Uh, I also want to explicitly mention that no calculus is required to understand the videos uh, in the upcoming video series. And the reason I say that is because the, the videos on this channel are typically supposed to be covering topics that are taught after you've already taken calculus. Uh, that being said though, if there is a specific topic such as numbers and sets that does not require calculus, uh, that will be explicitly mentioned in the prerequisites part of this video. Okay, uh, Moving on to the outline, in other words, what's going to actually be covered in the video series. We're going to be starting with proofs and logic. And proofs and logic is intended to give us an introduction to what pure mathematics really is, uh, where we are interested in proving things. So we're going to be talking about what is a proof, uh, what are different techniques that we can use to prove statements? And then also logic, just as a, a, a field, which is essentially kind of the, the backbone of all mathematics. Then after that, we're going to be getting into this next topic, uh, sets, functions, and relations, where each of these really are kind of the fundamental building blocks for all of math. Uh, arguably the most fundamental is the notion of a set. Then when we talk about functions, functions allow us to map between different sets. And then finally, we're going to talk about relations, where relations can be equipped to a set, which allows us to compare different uh, objects or different things within our set. Then after that, we're going to go into division. And you might be thinking, why, why specifically division? That seems very specific and very random. And the reason is because whenever we talk about division, we are inherently going to be talking about factors of a given number. And it turns out that whatever number we're looking at, uh, the, that number is guaranteed to have at least two factors, where the first factor is the number itself, and the second factor is the number one. And it turns out that there's a specific class of numbers that only have those two factors, and that class of numbers is called prime numbers. Uh, so division really is going to be used to uh, first talk about factors and then lead into prime numbers, and that's going to be the start uh, of our discussion on the numbers part of this video series. Then after that, we're going to go on to counting and integers, where it turns out counting in math can be surprisingly difficult. So we're going to first go through some counting techniques that can, can help us count, basically. We're going to talk about indicator functions, uh, permutations, combinations, and stuff like that. But really the, the main idea or the big idea that we want to get out of this topic is uh, the, the notion of proving things by induction, 
where induction is a proof technique that allows us to uh, prove statements that should hold for all possible natural numbers. Okay, so, so proving things by induction is really the main idea right here. Next topic we're going to get to is modular arithmetic. And this is going to be arithmetic, uh, the same old arithmetic that we grew up with, uh, except now we're going to add on something called a modulus. And a modulus is essentially a number where if we start counting one, two, three, and so on, we can keep counting until we reach that modulus. And then once we reach that modulus, that's when we circle back around to the number one. One of the most common examples of that is a clock, where if you look on the numbers on a clock, uh, it's gonna be labeled one, two, three, all the way through 12. And then once we hit 12, we go back to the number one. So if we were adding up times on a clock, 12 would act as our modulus, because we go back to the number one right after that. Uh, so, so that's what this section is gonna be all about. Uh, performing arithmetic and making arithmetic statements when we have a modulus. Next topic is going to be real numbers. Within these first three bullet points on number theory right here, uh, we are primarily looking at natural numbers, integers, and the rational numbers. But it turns out that we still need additional numbers beyond the rational numbers, despite how dense the rationals are. Uh, so, so this section is really going to be about how can we construct the real numbers? How do we really define what the real numbers are? And if, if you are familiar with real analysis, uh, that might sound very familiar. A lot of times that is the introduction to real analysis. So a lot of the stuff in this section, such as uh, the notion of a limit or the notion of convergence, those are going to get defined here. And we're going to see some overlap in this section with some uh, real analysis, which is always interesting. And then finally, we're going to talk about countability, moving back over to sets and uh, describing what is the size or the cardinality of a set. We could have uh, finite sets and we could also have infinite sets. And we're also going to ask the question, can some infinite sets be larger than other infinite sets? Um, so that's going to get covered in countability. So a bunch of really good stuff here, at least for the first course. Uh, hopefully this sounds interesting to you. I'm personally very excited to, to get started with this, to, to kick off the channel. Um, and yeah, uh, hopefully you find this interesting. And if you do, I will see you in the video series. Thanks.